Milwaukee has three primary rivers, the Milwaukee, Menominee, and Kinnikinick. Four One Forward with a story about the Adopt a River volunteer program thanks to a support of people like Cheryl Men of her Milwaukee River Keepers. The Milwaukee River Basin is about 900 square miles. They're incredible assets that we have running right through our communities. Kind of lets me escape the busyness of the city. We also have a lot of people that use them for fishing, for swimming. Water-based tourism is really huge, kayaking and boating, sailing. It's really important to keep them clean. So a lot of the trash on the roads and next to the roads you know, has been under snow and we haven't really been even seeing it. And then when all of that melts and, and we start getting these big spring rains, it tends to you know, push a lot of trash into the rivers, which is, you know, is bad for water quality, bad for wildlife, and bad for us because eventually all these rivers drain to our drinking water supply. Hey, my name's Chris Wiegand. Yeah, I'm a volunteer. I really care about the outdoors and I love my city. I grew up in Milwaukee, so every time I, I walk by a park or, or see a river that's cluttered with trash, it um, makes me really sad that that's what we're dealing with. Here you go. The goal really is to create long-term stewards that are connected to this water and that will help us protect it and help us clean it up. Found a tire in the river today. We're cleaning up the Milwaukee River. We want to make sure that we have these parkways nice and clean for our community and we're not getting pollutants out into the, the larger water bodies. One of the things we're trying to do is to provide a little bit more attention on these smaller rivers, the smaller creeks that are often neglected, and trying to really connect businesses and community members with those creeks uh, so they can get more you know, sustainable, um, long-term kind of TLC or cleanups over about a two-year period. Anyone who is able to should come out and help us clean up these rivers because it's a really great thing to do and can help your whole city. Because it really does take the whole community. As we've been doing these cleanups for the last uh, 22 years or so, we see that the, the problem is getting better. For me, it, it's always been about finding a way to connect with my community and figure out what can I do that's not necessarily going to change the whole world, but this little spot that I'm on. It's awesome to just see people coming out and cleaning up. You just see an instant difference after a few hours. Our thanks to photojournalist Ryan Whitaker, and thank you for watching.